Hi friends, welcome to our channel Mindful Convo. For today, the topic will be integrated reporting, which is an important topic of SBL subject in ACCA. So, what is integrated reporting framework? So, earlier the results of organizations were reported in financial context. They don't show the clear picture of the working of organization. So, integrated reporting came into picture which considers the strategic aspects also. So, integrated reporting is more concise communication of an organization's strategy, governance and performance. So, it also includes corporate governance. It describes a link between organization's financial performance with respect to economic, environmental and social aspects. So it also includes how organizations create value from their activities over short, medium and long term. So it also includes a long term approach as well. So it is a very good framework to analyze that what's the current situation of a company. We generally, generally analyze the company on the basis of financial aspects. So only financial aspects are not important. There are so many aspects on which the analysis should be done. So in this framework, we will be discussing all those aspects apart from financial aspects, which are important. So it enables more effective board level thinking. Also, the quality of information available to investors will be more improved. So it encourages integrated thinking and business practices. So in integrated report, we talk about different types of capital. So earlier capital was only confined to cash, machinery, but now we'll see that some other types of capitals are also used. So there are six types of capitals we will be discussing here, which are financial capital, manufactured capital, intellectual capital, social capital, and natural capital. So financial capital, it talks more in money terms so it is a normal capital which we generally discuss like it represents share bond bank notes so earlier this aspect was already uh, covered in the reports but in this new format which is known as integrated reporting so in this additional report what are we going to include manufactured capital so it focuses on asset or material which are used the production process so it's more focused to inputs because what is the cost of input and what are the materials which we are using are really important we should have the knowledge of all this to come to any conclusion then intellectual capital so it is related to intangible part so like employee knowledge training so which will be beneficial for a company which may provide competitive advantage because employees knowledge is the most important part in how we are trying to enhance that knowledge by giving the training then human capital so it focuses on workforce it talks about their health knowledge skills so it is more related to the employees to the people part so if employees will be healthy production will be more good and productive then social capital so it is related to building up relations with the stakeholders so how are we building our relationships like how are we building the relationships with society because society is also a stakeholder for us how are we building the relations with the employees with the suppliers so it all comes into social capital then in natural capital it includes renewable and non-renewable resources so what the nature is providing to us will create value here now we will come to the next part where presentation of integrated report is there so there are five points which are necessary to be understood that how are we going to present the integrated report so it should not look that clumsy while reading it should be in a very correct format like it should always tell about the long term view if you have mentioned only the short term or mid term views and no long term views are there then there is no point of making an integrated report 
so in the long term view it should focus on strategic aspects by including long term view of the organization then second one is coherent overview so information should be connected in such a way that it provides reader a good overview of the organization then third one is relevant so only relevant information must be presented which would affect the decision making of users so you should always be to the point that what is required you should not be writing anything else which is out of context then it is should be easy to understand so report should be simple for readers to understand then comparative data so it should include comparative data of other years because there is no point of just reading current year data without making comparison with previous years so your report should have both type of data at the present which is available and also the past year data for the comparisons then the point comes that what type of questions in the exam will be asked related to integrated report so it is a very important topic it's a very important part so you uh, you have to like answer the question in such a way that the examiner will be providing you a case study where he can ask you that what is integrated report and how you have to apply it here so he can also ask you in the context of capitals so you have to explain the six capitals that how are they getting fit into this case study so you have to draft your answer in such a way that after each point of capital heading you have to elaborate you have to link it with the case study so whatever i have told you in the video you can easily write there write those lines and add some one or two points related to the case study there now our other topic here is sustainability reporting so it includes economic environmental and social impacts caused by organizations daily activities so sustainability reporting is voluntary on part of organizations so it includes economic environmental and social impacts caused by organizations daily activities it also ensures that organization will continue to exist in future so it has three aspects profit people and plant so profit it donates economic sustainability of organization so constantly lower profits will show the lower chances of organization will be continuing in long run so it totally focus on profits that if your organization is not generating profits at all then it means it will be going to become insolvent in future or there are some chances of this then other one is people so it denotes social sustainability it talks about the relation of organization with the society or its employees so how much value is adding to the employees here so we will take care here about employees skills employees health knowledge experience etc then in the plant it denotes environmental sustainability so in this everything related to the natural resources come here so this was a very broad aspect in the sustainability reporting that it covers three main things profit people and plant so it's a very uh, general topic you can also relate very e it very easily with the question so it was all about the today's video if you have any doubts feel free to contact me to ping me in the comment section box so don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you goodbye